I crashed my drone. Did not think that I would ever say that, but we're here in Krabby and I crashed my drone. What's up everyone and welcome back. This week's video, we're in Krabby, Thailand, specifically Ao Nang Beach. We're standing right here on the beach, waiting for our long tail boat. It's gonna give us a ride over to Raleigh Beach where we've teamed up with Freebird Paddle Company to do some epic adventures this week. This week has been really great, kind of terrible, and really great again. Sean had his first photo shoot abroad, which was awesome. We also like, hung out with the owners of Freebird and we had like a barbecue and walked around the beach and relaxed, that was great. And then I crashed my drone, so that was fun. She's lost in the ocean somewhere. Uh, I'm very sad about that, but we have a brand new one. That's what matters, so better quality, it's gonna be great. And I'm really excited to spend this week here. One of the things that I'm most excited about that we're gonna be doing with Freebird is the bioluminescent tour. I've been looking forward to doing a bioluminescent tour for years. I saw it on a YouTube channel like three years ago and ever since then I've been like, I have to go see that. <clears throat> and if you don't know what the bioluminescent thing is she's talking about, it's a plankton that glows in the dark when the lights hit it. Yeah. We're gonna be on these like clear kayaks and paddle boards where you can see down to the bottom of the ocean floor. It's gonna be awesome. And I just wanna like add on to this, the unlucky things that have happened to us. We just try to film on my camera this cord's broken, so the microphone's not working, so if the audio is not great, I apologize, because we're using my phone. And my poor toesies, I don't know if you can see them, but I dropped Sean's camera on one of them, and I tripped over a rock on the other, and I can't bend them, so there's that. <laughs> it's just been a couple unlucky days, but we're, we're vibing. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> It's all right. It just means the next few days are going to be epic. All the bad stuff's behind us, hopefully, right? Not going to lie. <laughs> We're on Raleigh and we're about to do our first paddleboard uh, lesson. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall a lot. It is so pretty here. We're talking about maybe staying here for a couple nights. Are you guys familiar with water sports? Oh yeah, yeah. Swimming, swimming. Mm -hmm. jet skis. Swimming, jet skis. Um, well, since you guys are gonna be with us for a few days, I like to go over a little bit conditions and how to read the water. Perhaps when you have a look. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you guys excited? I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I, my balance sucks, but we got this. <laughs> You're trying to take me out. <laughs> Put your head straight over your butt. This is so much fun. I definitely can see paddle boarding being my new thing. Uh, she was doing yoga poses and that was a little tricky to do on the water, but we'll get used to it the more balance we get. Sean finally got it. He's doing it. Suck. <laughs> no, you don't suck. You're getting used to it. It's all good. I'm not confident in my paddle boarding abilities, but Suzanne was an excellent teacher and it was awesome to, you know, have one of the owners showing us around. And these sites, like I can see why Raleigh is like a top place in the world for like rock climbing and everything else. Like, this is insane. I don't want to leave. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got it there for a minute. That's like the longest you held yourself up for. Yeah, getting better, getting better. Good job. Good thing we got five days. Yeah. Hopefully by day five I'll be able to uh, come. You're gonna be an expert. I think we're gonna go get some lunch and then uh, maybe walk around Raleigh a little bit. It's a pretty small island, so we can walk back and forth, I think she said, with like 10, 15 minutes from end to end. 
Yeah, between the different beaches, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's do this. So right now we're walking through Raleigh, just getting a lay of the land, trying to figure out where everything's at. We're also going to check out a couple of hotels to see where we're going to stay for the four nights we're going to stay on the island. The next two nights we'll still stay in Ao Nang. And we were going to stay there till Monday, but after getting here, it's freaking paradise. And we're just going to, Saturday was our last day that we were supposed to stay at our place, so we're just not going to extend it like we had planned. We're going to uh, just come over here and stay here for four nights. We're practicing with our new gimbal, so uh, hopefully this is a little bit more stable than normal. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you don't have all the bouncing around, especially like when we're in the car, that's always terrible. You can't like stabilize it as well. It's definitely really heavy and I'm very weak, so Sean might have to do a lot more filming, which I'm fine with. So it's pretty cool, like on the island so far, like you had the main strip we were just on, now we're just walking down like a battle slew of different paths that go to different areas, all the different beaches, I guess. I don't, don't quote me on it, we haven't uh, done too much exploring yet, but it's how it appears. I just checked the GPS to make sure we were going the right way. I don't want to get lost. Oh, uh, we definitely went the wrong way. Went the wrong way? Yeah. We gotta get like way up that way. Do you have room available Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? Uh, yes, we have room available. So that was super easy. We just booked our stay at the Avatar for 1100 baht per night, which is roughly about $33. And this is like a nice resort. It includes breakfast for two people. I mean, what more could you ask for for $33 a night? Like, in paradise. I'm stoked. I wish we could stay there longer, but we got stuff we got to finish up in Ao Nang tomorrow. So we'll come Saturday morning. Aww. Today's been awesome. Learning how to paddleboard has been difficult for me. Marissa caught on really quick, but uh, got tomorrow to practice even more. We're actually gonna do the tour tomorrow. So make sure you keep watching this video so you get to see it. Good morning, guys. We just got checked into our new place in Riley. We're gonna be here for the next four nights and this place is really cool. It was kind of an adventure to get here. We took our suitcases and backpacks on a tuk-tuk all the way to the beach. Then we waited for the long tail boat to pick us up. Took that here to Riley. And now we're here in Avatar, our hotel. We got an awesome place. And like I said yesterday when we were talking on camera, it's only $31 a night. Literally, we have this like over the pool view with a nice lounge bed. <laughs> I do highly recommend this area. Like there's a ton to do. There's some caves that we're going to explore this week. Um, a lot of rock climbers actually come here because it's one of the top rock climbing destinations in the world. In the world. So I'm not going to do that. I'm terrified of heights and also I have no idea how to rock <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm trusting my big butt on, on a rope either. Today we're going to do some paddle boarding and we're actually going to go and do the night tour with the bioluminescence. So I'm excited for that. Side note, how do I get out of here? I just looked out my window and there's three monkey, four monkeys chilling by the pool. We are determined to make Sean an expert paddle boarder. He's gonna stand for a good solid 10 minutes and not fall. I highly doubt I would consider myself an expert after one time, but uh, maybe a proficient. I couldn't imagine uh, me doing some yoga poses on a paddle board. Okay, I, don't think, do I don't think anybody would wanna see that anyway. So. All right, we're gonna make Sean decent at paddle boarding. We're gonna make it so he can't fall as easily. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan? All right, got the practice ones out today just in case we fall a lot. They hurt a lot less than the clear ones. All right, there you go. Keep looking straight. Let's find your balance. Bro, don't paddle yet. Don't paddle yet. You're about to fall on me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was better though. That was a lot better. Give me a dirt bike or a motorcycle any day. Keep it looking forward, look forward, lift up. Nope, lean to the left. Let's keep going. Woo! Look at my handsome man go. <laughs> you paddle, 
coming towards me like that. It's so funny looking. <laughs> Ew. Never in my entire life did I think I would be able to get him to do this. <laughs> we took you to the elephant sanctuary and now you're at the whale farm. <laughs> whoop whoop. Doing it. I feel like I got a better grasp for it today. I was just paddling around. I fell at the end, but I went for way longer than I thought I would be able to. I just didn't think I had the balance for it. I don't know. I really do think these paddle boards have made her fall in love with being here. She like, keeps saying she wants to stay longer. <laughs> she likes the whole beach vibe. She didn't think she liked it. She's always been like, let's go to Iceland. Let's go to the mountains. And now she's like enjoying this beach life. <laughs> I think she just likes the water. If we were on a lake, she'd be happy too. Which when we get to Italy, hopefully we get to visit Lake Como pretty regularly. <laughs> Now stand on one leg. My first standing fall. I'm pooped. <laughs> what? Look at them feet. Dun 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 dun. Versus cleaning all the sand out of our towels so then we can go back and get cleaned up and do the night tour feeling pretty confident I'm not gonna take the paddleboard anyway so do it on the kayak that's the way to go that way I can carry my camera and stuff and not have to worry about falling over with it we're going on the night tour I'm so excited this is what I've been looking forward to since we got to Krabby get up Bunga monkey, get up. Hi, baby. One thing that's really cool about right Lane that I've noticed, there's monkeys everywhere. Within five minutes of us getting to our new place, literally there was monkeys in the pool. We walk down the strip, there's monkeys in the power lines and the trees. That's one thing that they do say, is uh, make sure that you lock your doors because the monkeys will get in and take your stuff. Um, but our ba back door for some reason won't lock. So fingers crossed we go back and our stuff is still intact. These are the clear kayaks. And we rode a little bit last night right here on the shore, but we didn't go very far like we are today. I'm gonna do a clear paddleboard. A little nervous taking it out when it's super dark and not really being able to see, but they do have lights and that's gonna be really exciting. So we're definitely gonna have another beautiful sunset tonight here in Riley. I'm loving Riley. I'm loving Thailand. This has been an amazing trip. Uh, it's been an awesome experience. Freebird's been awesome. They were, all their staff and crew have been great. If you come to Raleigh, you better book a tour with them. <laughs> Tell them what we sent you. Yeah. I'm excited. Hello. I'm on my paddleboard. We got a little clear bottom. Once it gets a little darker, we'll turn our lights on. We'll be able to see all the way down to the bottom of the ocean floor. We're going to go over a bunch of coral. Last night when we were out on our little cruise, we saw a bunch of like fish and stuff. And then when we get out to the island, I think that's where we're supposed to see the bioluminescent plankton. So it's pretty exciting. Should be a fun night. Oh, the sunset. So pretty. Crash landing. What, what, what are we looking at? Coral? It's pretty. Thank you. <laughs> you want party? <laughs> Sean, this. Oh, beautiful. Oh, sea urchin. There's a sea urchin right there, Sean. Look how pretty that is. Okay, come close me and 
I'm turning off all our lights so we can do a uh, tour through the cave in the dark. We just got done going through a little cave, super tight in there. It was like hard to paddle and try to hold the camera, so should be good. Let me uh, put this thing down because now I'm getting blinded. And have the baby jellyfish, a lot of baby jellyfish. You see the underneath, very small one. This one is the jellyfish. They told us to turn on our lights before Marissa couldn't get her as I was trying to help her. I was like leaned over, helping her and water just started falling in my kayak. I thought I was about to get sunk out here. Whoa! Or it was really hard to get the plankton on camera. It was kind of quick, like little flashes. You would like shake your hand in the water and it would kind of be like litter. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> you fell behind at the end, didn't you? I did. I heard Lila, she was like, Marissa, Marissa. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. I was relaxing and chilling. The bioluminescent plankton was super cool. Um, and just going around and looking through the kayak and being able to see all the coral. And I saw like a bunch of crabs. I saw a jellyfish that was like this big at one point. I didn't catch it on camera because it went by too quickly. Um, but it was super cool. I think uh, we still have a lot more to do in Riley, but this is an awesome, Awesome night excursion. Everybody at Freebird's so nice and you should definitely check this out if you come to Riley. Hey. So much fun, thank you. That was definitely an awesome experience. Yes, it was. We're off of the dark beach now. We have a little light, so we figured we'd reflect a little bit. <laughs> See it was awesome. Like, it's definitely worth the trip. It was like sparkly, like glitter, and you would shake your hand and it would just move everywhere. And it was really cool to see. Um, I definitely wasn't disappointed at all. I saw multiple crabs. I saw an octopus, a jellyfish, and yeah, uh, that was just as cool as the plankton. Like Marissa said multiple times, and I've said, you know, the staff and everybody from Freebird, they've been amazing, been taking care of us, and uh, hopefully tomorrow or the day after, they're going to take us on a boat tour and show us all around and we'll see what that's about. So we should, uh, should be able to showcase a lot of what their company offers over the next few days. I love Riley. I love it. I don't want to leave. Yeah. I'm sad. Yeah. That was hot. The big old spit glob going down your chin. That one I hit my knee on the one when I hit the ground. Did you? I went knee first on the ground. Like I said, you're supposed to fall with grace, Marissa. Really what is coming this way and what's going on? It's fine. We look good doing this. As long as you get on, right? <laughs> and then wall is around. Yeah, wall is around. Wall is around. Okay, face it the right way. So oh, my eyes burn. Where are you? Sean? You've got black stuff all over your face coming down. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here.